Hello friends, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about the process related to the generation of mini statement, daily transaction report, account inquiry and transaction status using Darkbird code binding solutions in the unified Darkbird Android application. Friends, First, let us discuss about the generation of mini statement. The mini statement can be used to check whether the transactions are reflecting in the account or not. The user must select the Darkbird CBS tab. Mini statement can be generated for any SB account by selecting the option mini statement. Enter the account number for which the mini statement is to be generated and click on proceed to generate the mini statement. Then click on the fetch mini statement button. This will display the details of last 10 transactions in that account. Provision is also made for printing this mini statement. The second option is daily transaction reports. In the daily transaction report, user can check the transaction status also. Only successful transactions will be considered that is updated to the valid balance. Let us see how to generate this report. So first select the that point CBS tab as usual. Then Daily transaction report. Select day from the calendar for which the daily transaction report is to be generated. Select the name of the scheme or all from the drop down list and click on submit to generate the report. The report will be generated for all the transactions carried out for the selected day and this can also be printed. Now we are going to discuss about new account inquiry. When a new account is opened, we can check the status of the account through this option. Once the SO has approved the new account opening request, the reference ID generated during the opening of the new account needs to be entered in the new account inquiry screen. Details of the newly opened account will be available only if the account office has accepted the newly opened account. In case, if the account opening is pending in the account office, then we will get a message that entered reference number is not available. This option can also be used to check for the new accounts open on a particular date. Now, let us discuss about the steps involved to check the transaction status. All the transactions carried out in a device can be viewed through this option. If any transaction is not completed, it will reflect when fetch button is clicked. Please note if any transaction is shown as pending here, day end is not possible. After clicking on the update button, wait for few seconds. We will receive the message either success or failure. If transaction is not completed, we will get failure message. If transaction is failed, then the BPM must reinitiate the same transaction once again. Friends, hope you have understood about the generation and the purpose of mini statement, daily transaction report, account inquiry and transaction status using that kind core banking solutions 
in the unified that one android application thank you very much for watching this video thank you so much